Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio. Thanks so much for tuning in on this video. We're talking about IT management and some courses, training that you could, certifications that you could potentially look at getting to become a IT manager, an IT leader, or become a better IT manager and IT leader. Getting these certificates under your belt is just gonna make you that much better because you won't only be smarter, but then you can put that on your CV and then you can tell your future boss if you're gonna go look for another job somewhere else. I've also got this awesome cert, which means that I've put aside some time to go and learn that technology. So we're gonna be giving you, I think, uh, five, right? There are a lot more other certs. Then there are, of course, the technical certs that you can do as well. That'll sort of get, you know, add a little um, additional flavor and weight to your IT management skills. Because I think is, as a, an IT manager, and this is what I've always tried to do in my career, is I don't just stop becoming technical. I wanna become a manager, but remain as technical as I can, because I think it'll just make you a better manager. And because this is the YouTube machine, also click on that subscription button, click on the bell. Hopefully you enjoy this content as well. And uh, let's get into it right now. Oh, but actually first, let's just check this one out. You need to be able to know your network, map your network, understand all the bits and pieces. And sometimes it's really hard just to sort of get a good high level overview of what is what. This is why I love a product called Fathom. You know, sometimes when you need to install monitoring apps and scanning apps on computers, you need to go and install an agent on every single device. And that can be really, really frustrating. Fathom is completely agentless application discovery and dependency mapping. It is great. Essentially it just scans your entire network and builds a nice map of your entire network so you know exactly what is what. A full discovery of your hybrid IT infrastructure, mapping all of your servers, your hypervisors, your hyperscalers, understanding your network. Fatim will give you a view of your clustered servers by business applications so that I can see exactly what is installed and where and how they all connect together. You'll be able to see what is what so you can manage that change even better. Understand where the root cause of some problems may be, assist with migrations, assist with your disaster recovery and your business continuity plans, compliance, cybersecurity, and more. Now being a big AI advocate, I love what's happening in AI. Future versions will also come equipped with AI and I'm really, really looking forward to that. Now here's the best thing is that it's really, really fairly priced and they even offer a free forever plan down below of this video description. I've got a link to it, so go and pick it up right now. You wanna become a better sysadmin? Give Fathom a shot. The first one is what's called the C Geert. Certification in Governance of Enterprise IT. Now, what are we talking about governance? Well, you've got all of the technical systems You've got development, you've got systems, you've got networking, you've got security, you've got architecture, you've got all of these, you know, I guess little, little frameworks within the technology industry because technology is huge. But what this cert will focus on is the governance element, the policies, the procedures, the good practices, because you need to have all of this stuff mapped out, documented, and then you need all the governance documents to support that especially in a enterprise environment, you really cannot be managing an IT environment, a tech environment, unless there is proper rules, guardrails, things are streamlined, and there is proper governance in place. Sometimes in the tech space, you need to have it because it's a company requirement. Sometimes it's an industry requirement, and sometimes it's government requirements where you must have certain things in place. So examples of these could be having yourself a proper IT acceptable use policy, having a disaster recovery plan, having a information security policy, having a data retention policy, right? Having a data governance procedure where this is the sort of data that we've got. These are the classifications of the data. This is how long we need to be keeping the data for. This is who has access to that data, all of that stuff. You need to have all of that documented and stored somewhere. So understanding good governance is important. Understanding risk, the details of rules of technology is gonna be beneficial, I think, to every single IT manager. Then I've got the CISM, the C-I-S-M, and this is the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate. And as the name suggests, this is a focus on security, cybersecurity management. So if you are or you want to become a IT security manager, 
or a um, like a, a CISO, a Chief Information Security Officer, IT Manager, an IT Director, a CIO or CTO, having security at the forefront, the backbone of everything that you do is like honestly one of the most important things ever. Security is not going away. People who are looking for work, like security is up there. Understanding risk, understanding the requirements to make sure that your security is top notch in the organization that you are managing is gonna be very important. Now this one is all about project management. Even if you don't wanna get into project management, my opinion here is that every single IT leader of any stripe should be good at project management. It says to me that you're good at managing your time. You're good at putting things into place. You know how to prioritize different things. This is gonna take me this amount of time. This is gonna take me this amount of time. You know how to schedule your time. Really important. A lot of people struggle with that. It's gonna help you to not overwhelm yourself because if you've got everything in proper steps, this has to happen and this has to happen, this has to happen, you're gonna be better because we are juggling as IT managers, you're juggling so many things. You're putting out fires, you're managing your teams, you're managing systems, networking, security, you're managing all of this sort of stuff. And it can get very, very overwhelming. Being a project management professional is going to help you to just be good at organizing everything. Then there's a real foundational one here called the ITIL, I-T-I-L. Uh, it's um, really helpful just around service delivery, service management. To be a good IT manager is not just knowing the tech, but then knowing how to bridge the gap between tech and between business is really helpful. You know how to service the business. You understand about SLAs. You understand about providing good communications, structure, change management. All of these things are gonna help you to do better in your job. Having a good ticketing system in place, right? A lot of companies, and, and I'm embarrassed to talk about this, but so many companies that I've worked with, because I've worked in the MSP space, the managed services um, uh, professional space as well, where I'm providing services and IT services for lots of different sorts of companies. And the amount of companies that I had to service that didn't have the basics of just a standard ticketing platform to be able to capture, triage, manage, you know, be able to you know provide a um, critical high, medium and low priority, time frames against those, managing problems, managing tasks, managing service requests. That stuff is pretty elementary. So you've got a good framework around ITIL, you've got a good framework around PMP and project management. This is really helpful if you are working in an environment that is agile, an environment that likes to just go with the flow, doesn't have to be a structured on everything, and this is where becoming a Scrum Master, having the cert around Scrum Master, is um, is a skill that is really good to have. So an example could be, you've got all these tasks that you need to get done, all these projects that you need to get done. When you're doing a new project, is you can put them into these things called sprints, where you could have 10 items in this specific sprint. Sprint one, sprint two, sprint three, and they last from this time to this time. And then you are then focusing and targeting in an agile framework, these items in a sprint. Working with your tech teams, internal, external, you then get them done. And then you move on to sprint two. Sometimes the items in a sprint one will just get carried over into sprint two. And then you sort of frame your pieces of work that way. Now the last thing here, the last thing here, even though they are the five, right? I'm just gonna say, is you can become a great IT manager without having any of these, right? You don't, you don't have to have these, but these are just gonna make you so much better. Go and do a course and then get certified in it and you'll become a better manager sooner. Some people have been in IT management for years and don't know this stuff and they've just got poor, poor practice. The amount of times that I've gone into a business and for example, done an audit, a review of a business, and there's been a manager or a CIO working there for 10 years. And it's just like, how are they doing things that way? Don't they understand the basics of the processes? And majority of the time, the answer is no, they don't understand. My name is Emilio. Love it if you click on the subscription button and click on the bell. We'll see you on the next video.